Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down and a happy sour beer day to you all. I guess it's actually Sour Beer Day Eve. Sour Beer Day falls on September 20th. I'm posting this on the 19th. And to be honest, I'm actually recording this a couple weeks in advance. So I've got plenty of time to do my Sour Beer Day shopping. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted, it's a beautiful day. I wanted to take advantage uh, of this. I, uh, you know, we're, we're hitting, uh, well, when this is posted, September 19th, there's not gonna be a lot of time for outdoor uh, comfortable, at least, outdoor beer shows uh, when you live in uh, Manitoba. Anyway, uh, I know a lot of, uh, I've got a few viewers down in the U.S. who, who have their own uh, beer shows, and uh, they're probably just thinking, I could do this outside all year, um, <laughs> down in Atlanta and Florida and that kind of thing. And if you just saw that big reaction, that was just a big, giant gigantic wasp uh, on my knee. So hopefully he leaves me alone while I uh, record this episode. All right, so what we're doing for Sour Beer Day Eve is uh, from the Good Neighbor Brewing Company here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is a Bellini fruited sour ale. So I, I'm not huge on sours, and I've, I, if you watch the show enough, you've probably heard me say that, but I, there are some that I really like. And I find a lot of fruited ones, like the fruited sours, I really enjoy. There's there's a few kind of older, uh, more traditional styles of sour beers that just, just taste like, I don't know, vinegar to me or something. And some of the fruited ones get a little crazy and get a little too into candy territory. But this one's more of a cocktail, right? Like a Bellini is a kind of a cocktail. Uh, so this could be really, really interesting. I'm not a big cocktail guy. If you've watched my my show regularly and see my usual backdrop which is the basement bar and you see a lot of bottles of things there you're probably thinking how is this guy not a cocktail guy i like neat whiskeys i like gin and tonics uh but i'm not like mixing cocktails very often once in a while if we're having people over we'll do a signature shot or something like that um but what is a bellini because uh i don't know if i've ever had one uh, bellini uh, made with two simple ingredients, Prosecco and peach puree. This actually sounds quite good. I guess like, you know, the peach color on here, that makes sense. Uh, I do like uh, a lot of peach beers. I've tried a few, The one, uh, I don't know if I've liked all of them, but most of them I've, I've enjoyed. So I'm, I've got a really good feeling about this. Let's crack her open. Now this might not be a traditional sour beer glass. This is more of a, I think this is, um, well, I can't even remember now, uh, like, a, like a wheat beer glass, but it's also just a really nice plastic glass um, that we use outside all the time. So that's why if you see me doing the outdoor shows, it's usually in this glass because it's just a nice uh, plastic glass you can take outside. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see what this is like on the nose. Um, I'm not getting a lot of peach, actually. Not, not immediately, anyway. Um, yeah, I do get a bit of that sort of vinegary kind of note that you get with a lot of sour beers. So that's got me a little nervous, but, uh, yeah, not getting a lot of peach on the nose. Uh, the color is quite beautiful. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but it's quite a, a thick looking beer um like it's like the the cocktail is made with peach puree right and there is like a pureed kind of a look to this it's quite thick uh you know a few floaties in there but i think that's intentional and all fine and good um yeah all right let's go in for a sip That's really nice, really, really nice. There's a little bit of a tartness, um, definitely get the peach, but not in that like candy, fuzzy peach kind of way that you get some uh, peach beers. Um, this one's more of, no, it's uh, it's like, it. I haven't had a Bellini, but this feels like, you know, when it's described as, what is it, Prosecco and peach puree? It 
that's what this feels like. It just like it's a bubbly drink with a, a lot of like natural peach in there. It's really, really quite nice. Oh yeah. Okay. So what does this come in at? This is, um, 4.5% alcohol. A lot of good neighbors stuff actually is, um, under 5%. Um, they, they tend to make more sessionable beers, which is, uh, a really cool thing about them. I have featured them on the show before and they do have a new site in the city that I want to check out. Um, but yeah, I don't have featured them a lot, but they're, they're, I do like their stuff. It's really, really good summer beers they tend to do. Uh, this is a sour ale inspired by the Bellini cocktail brewed with a blend of fresh peach and sweet red raspberries, which would give it that little more of a, a pinkish color than the peach color, right? Uh, that's all it really tells me. Um, I'm going in for another sip. That is really, really, really nice. Um, like I said, I've had a, a few peach beers. Um, oh, there's that wasp again. <laughs> a few peach beers that I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, but I, I would put this like right up there. This is really, uh, it's refreshing. It's just enough tartness. Uh, this, this is the way to spend sour beer day, Eve. God, that wasp. All right. <laughs> Oh, the joys of shooting outside uh, with a, a beer that is probably attracting this wasp as well. That's just going to make me drink it faster. All right, my friends, uh, take care of yourselves. I might do uh, a short uh, on actual uh, Sour Beer Day as well. Uh, so uh, check the channel for that. Keep your eyes open. I'm going to drink this beer and get rid of this wasp. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>